Oh my goodness. Well, that certainly sets a tone. George, who do we have playing next at the NASA field? Face our what a way to kick off next world's finals. Over here on the NASA field, we have the winners of the technology division facing off against the winners of the research division. Let's meet these teams starting out over here in red. From Mansick High School in Monroe, Connecticut, say hello to 47, 44, 78 E, Roar Vex T. Partnered with them from JL Man High Academy in Greenville, South Carolina, 3796F, hey, respect. Over on blue, we have the Research Division champions starting out with their captain from Breckville Broadview Heights High School in Broadview Heights, Ohio, Team 2011 C, Crazy Train. And rounding out this match, from Chandler, Arizona, Team 2647 Robotics, and game. We're almost set to go. Our field technicians making sure our robots are all connected. Pressure is on. This is, once again, a single elimination play-in match. Whoever wins this moves on to the quarterfinals. All four of these teams are fantastic competitors. The technology division started out with the fifth ranked seed team. That's Roar of XD, their captain. Over here in research division, we have an all freshman team in, two, uh, in 2011 C. Freshmen made it all the way here to the big show. Got thumbs up around the field. Let's get this match underway. Autonomous will start. In three, two, one, go! 4478E quickly grabbing that neutral goal. Same for their Red Alliance partner. The Blue Alliance successful in getting the tallest of the neutral goals, scoring on the mobile goal in Autonomous. And they're picking up additional rings during that Autonomous period. Red takes the Autonomous bonus. Drivers ready. Three, two, one, go! There was a tug of war between 2011 C and 3796. Red Alliance took the win in the autonomous period. Blue Alliance has ground to make up now. Both of the blue and red robots focusing on offense right now, picking up the rings from the field. The field nearly completely clean, and we're just getting started with this match. Meanwhile, Red Alliance on the front end of the field, stealing from blue, 3796, pay respects, grabbing that blue goal, 2011 C, returning fire, crazy train, stealing the red goal. Back and forth as we go, one minute left on the clock, Red Alliance lining things up, blue a lot, 3796 trying to go, but 2011 C being pulled on their front as Red tries to get that neutral goal back. Massic Robotics putting on the pressure. Blue Alliance trying to force it off. 2011 sees caught up on the field perimeter. See if they can get a help from their alliance partner. They do. We're coming down now to 35 seconds remaining on the clock. And K Respects going up with their alliance partner, Roar Vex D. Meanwhile, the Blue Alliance over here picking up. Let's see if the end game can line up their shot. They've got to rotate that goal around, get those scores up high. We're now at 19 seconds remaining on the clock. The red has three goals elevated and one robot. Red Alliance and Blue Alliance attempted one last dish attempt at defense, but now that platform is protected. We're down to five seconds left. Three, four, three, two, one, and time is up. Both these alliances 
Fantastic score. They've nearly cleared the field of, field of rings. Grant, I'll throw it back to you for some game analysis. <laughs> that that's another finals match. I mean, this is this is this is this is, this is incredible. Uh, I'm here with Emerson. Yeah, a lot of you met her in the Spirit Division and Middle School, but I don't want to do all the instructions. Like, what'd you see? Well, I mean, we were yeah. That, that was just a crazy match. I actually jumped in the air when the blue robot was all the way on the other uh, the red side of the field with 16 seconds left, one more second touching the platform, and that would have been big trouble. I think we both jumped. I think about half the arena jumped as well. Um, I, my favorite robot that I was watching most of that match was actually 2647X, that high branch mechanism, super unique, um, you know, really smart to hold on to it for most of the match, but they didn't make it up on the platform, right? Yeah, you know, Red showed their end game early. They got up on the platform. They were balanced. Blue was trying to do it at the last second, but that's the risk that you run when you don't head over to your side of the field until the very last part. Yeah, I mean, actually, so that's interesting. So is that a strategy you, like, who do you think, uh, you know, had the, the better strategy? Like, who do you think worked out for them in the end? Well, you know, the Blue Alliance looked like they were coming out ahead at the beginning of the match. Um, they were stealing all of those goals. It was going back and forth. But I actually think that we have scores ready, Grant. You took my line. Tyler, do we have scores ready? We do. That's going to be 189 to one, oh, 113. Red Alliance, the technology division will advance. Now that we've completed our play-in matches, we're going to take a look at our bracket. Grant, can you tell us a bit about what we're looking at? That's right. So the bracket.